the brick and stratton. Where? Right there. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Reman, dog. Uh, Alright, so my guess is we gotta take off these fucking bolts here. These here. Alright? These here. And uh, my guess is that it shouldn't roll up. Oh, actually, we gotta take off the rocker arm first. So. So from the top in, right? Yeah, from the top to the back. So right now what we're doing is we're just uh, removing the rocker arms and the push rods. And uh, we got them set up over here. Starting from the front to the back, gonna try to keep them in order as best as we can. Uh, that way if we reuse them, we can put them back in the same exact location that they came from. We'll keep them like this for right now. It's a little bit dirty, but we're gonna obviously clean them up before we put them back into the engine. So, We'll keep the nuts that hold the rocker arms here for right now, um, just to kind of keep it all organized again. And then once we got to remove them, we'll uh, remove them and figure out how to organize them. But I think at this point, we're ready to uh, unbolt the heads and uh, try to get them off. Them all I don't know if all these bolts are the same. I remember, so we got a short, long, 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 long. So the short ones are on the sides. Yeah, just like that. I'd imagine all these are the same. Is there water in there? Might be. There's some in there. Yeah, it's water. The pops was telling me that in order to bust his head out. Oh man, that guy lied to me. Straight up. He said it was gonna be stuck on there. We're gonna have to put something in there right here, pry it open. But uh that don't look like the case. So go ahead and take it off. Okay, maybe he wasn't lying. Nah, it's just heavy. You know what? This in the way. Alright, little, uh, what is that, the dipstick? I screwed on right here, something small. Let's get this dipstick loose. Okay, now it should come off pretty easy. It's pretty heavy. Hold on, you got it? Get it yourself, you good? Yeah. Alright, ready? Go ahead. There you go, that's it. So I don't know how true this is, but you see, whenever you set your head down, set it standing up, it's not in my warp. I guess you show the inside of the head, right? Check it out. What is all of that in there? <laughs> it don't, I mean, it don't look too bad. I thought it would have looked worse, man, with terms of like the carbon build up and everything. There is a little bit on there, though, but yeah, it's not too bad. That's weird, though, that color. You know, that one looks kind of burnt right there on the side or something like it's kind of chafed or something you see how like this the side is like well, i don't know if that's bad. normal or if it's just like build up carbon build up no that's that's normal it's carbon build up i don't know if that's true but it looks like that might have been like when they kind of honed it out that's what it looks like it don't even look like worn out or anything don't look too bad huh i don't think so man i think it looks all right the gasket's not good? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to replace that for sure. Oh, that came out pretty easy. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, take off the other head. Alright, we're getting ready to take this uh, other head off here. We got some sensors here on the side. I'm not exactly sure which ones they are. Coolant temp sensor or something. Probably take those off before taking off the head. That way it's a little bit easier to get these off. Yep. Is that one? Cool, yeah. I think this is like a coolant temp sensor. Uh, I might have to replace that one. It looks a little bit rusted. We'll see what happens. Maybe just clean it off. Let me have a twirl at it. 
Feel safe with La Familia. They not only insure your auto, but will also insure your home. Nice. And even your business. Nice. I don't know what this is, man. It's got like a swivel in there. Or it's broken. <laughs> it's broken, man. I think it's broken. It's broken? Yeah, it looks pretty all banged up. I don't know what that is. Ready? Do it. Same? Yeah, same. Pretty much the same. I don't know, man. It looks pretty good to me. Me too. Same thing. What about this here? Do we just pull this up or what? Oh, this is threaded in. Right? Yep, threaded in. What is this? I don't even know what this is either. We gotta take off these uh these valve trays right here, man. Take off these valve tops. Oh, man. we gotta take off the lifters, right? Yeah, the valve. I said a valve, didn't I? The lifter top trays. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. This is getting more and more complicated. Nah, man. It's just like uh, when we were growing up, man. They used to always say that uh, drum brakes were oh, the, yeah. the do-it-yourselfers biggest jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. And then once we got down to the bone, we. Became break break experts. Yep. <laughs> now we're uh, we're drum experts, man. Yeah, take a drum apart and Drums, put it back together with my clothes. Rotors. It was the uh, the secret thing. Everybody said it was too hard and yep. too complicated. Everybody said there spring. was too many springs, yeah. too many things that move. You know, and I kind of believed them because you would buy those, the, or you would see the packs at the auto parts store, right? And they'd give you a little pack with a bunch of springs in it. Yeah. And it it just looked complicated. Till we got in there, and we did it, man. Yeah. Thanks to Isabel's truck. Thank yeah. you, cousin. <laughs> Check it out. It feels kind of like plastic almost. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is, right? It is. There's the lifters right there. Come out pretty easy? Yeah. Oh, that one's not too bad. Turn the rotor for me? Yeah, see, it's not too bad. These are, these are actually still good. We can't reuse these again. Cool. Yeah. I thought there's some marks on the cam. I thought maybe one had gone seized, but. We'll check them all right now in a minute. The previous owner said it was knocking. I don't know, maybe it was just his head knocking. Yeah, it was probably his head knocking, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, no, blame Mike. Blame Mike. All right, so when we bought this truck, we uh, we bought it from a guy named Mike, right? He was all right. I mean, no, nah, he wasn't all right at all, actually. Mike, if you watch this, it's for you, man. It's for you, man. You, this guy was a grumpy old man, and... Uh, very, guy, very grumpy. This guy came out, right? In his, like, shorts. What was he wearing, shorts? Basketball shorts. Basketball shorts, right? We're, like, halfway down his pants, butt crack showing. This guy came over with a wheelbarrow to the truck to get everything out, man. Yeah. And, uh, dude, it, it was funny. It looked like he was ecstatic, but at the same time, I couldn't tell if he was ecstatic about us buying the truck or because we were there. Golden. That baby's golden. This is um, a crankshaft. Here's the oil pump. Apparently, gonna rebuild that one? I, I don't know. I heard not to rebuild it, man. Really? Yeah, they say not to rebuild them. They say to just, just replace them. But you know what, man? I, it might be the original one. Yeah. Because it says USA on there. So I'm assuming uh, I'll rebuild that thing. Around. It might. Uh, I'll rebuild it. This one right here has play in it, a little bit of play. Let it go, Mike. That one's almost staying there? What's up? That. I think so. So I guess what we gotta do next is um, remove the crankshaft. I was about to call it a camshaft. And in order to do that, we gotta get these off the rods and pistons. And then we also gotta get these, um, what are they called? Caps, caps, journal caps, thrust bearing. Which one's the thrust bearing? This one or this one? I don't even know. Yeah, or the thrust cool. cap, whichever one. All right, it's about to get.
get the timing cover off here. Um, what I did to remove it was just stuck a screwdriver right back here. Just kind of pried away. It's already loose. Just kind of like that. Sorry for the noise. Cool. There it is. Here's the timing cover right here. And I guess this is the, the gear for the balance shaft right here. Oh yeah. So I guess I guess the balance shaft stays in time um, with the timing belt. I guess that's what keeps everything balanced. What happened? Uh, you see right here? This is what um, controls the the balance shaft. So I guess let's see. Yeah. So I guess the balance shaft moves with the timing of the of the timing belt. So I guess the way to get it right, there's got to be like a notch or something to know how to get everything back in place. Do you see what I see? What's up? You see what I see? A bunch of gears in the chain. <laughs> Take it apart, you ready? All right, so we just got the uh, timing cover off. We're checking out the timing chain. And we're a little bit concerned with the amount of play in the chain here. So you can see it's kind of loose. I don't know how tight these are supposed to be. Um, but I mean, obviously that doesn't really look that good. I'm not too experienced with that, but... Uh, Maybe that's his knocking he was hearing. Yeah, or the, the, the clicking or whatever. Could be, I think they are. But all right, let's take it apart. First gear out. Oh, this can't come out. There we go. That's nice. That's a nice feature that they have on there. Look at that. This bolt can't come out. And it only lines up back right there. Very interesting. Okay. Did this come out? Yeah. A little gear for you. I mean, a chain. Yeah, let's check out what's going on in here. Yeah. That's how. Okay, so I guess you align that there first, right? Yep. With that line or that dot, I mean. That's it. And then, uh, Let's right. take off that oil pump, and uh, we'll take off these uh, these bolts here to release the this crank cover here, or whatever this is called, casing. Yeah. All right, so to remove the oil pump, it's not that difficult. There's just this one bolt right here. Um, just easily loosen it up, and then uh, should just pull right up, just like that. Not bad. You can see straight through the block now. Go ahead and take off these uh, piston rods. Wish me luck. Nice. For the bottom. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm, man, that's that's a very uneven wear, huh? Yeah. Let me see that. Mm, like? Yeah. Yo, that's like like spun. Yeah. So, uh... Keep, you wanna keep them in order? We gotta keep these, uh... So, I think whoever did this last, or maybe... Maybe they just did it from the factory or something. You can see right here, there's a number one. Stamped on there. Mm hmm So... Maybe that's uh that's number two. That's number two. So then this should be three. That should be four, five, and six. Yeah, but I don't think all of them have that more. Is that true? That's five, five six. Come They're on. almost coming out. There it is right there. That's a pretty big piston. There it is. So we had to kind of make a a poor man's dead blow hammer, I guess. Dang, so, they're like holding uh, Thor's hammer or something. Dang. Oh, oh there goes the bearing. damn, it's all right, man. That <laughs> bearing's probably toast anyway. Let's check it out. Yeah, man, look at that, dude. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. now definitely replace it, right? <laughs> yeah, the wear on this thing's shady, man. Is it, right? Look at that, man. It's all like, I don't even know what to describe it as, but it's... Crazy. Good stuff, though. Yeah. 
Cool, man. Cool. Put the boat. At least we, at least we found something wrong with the motor, yeah, right? There you go. At least we found something for sure wrong. Yeah. Okay. I still blame Mike. I blame Mike. Yeah. I still blame Mike. Cool. So what is this? This is uh, six. This is six. Boom. All right. So, I guess we'll try to record how we got the uh the piston out with the next, the next piston here, uh because we don't have a a mallet or a dead blow hammer or anything like that, and uh so we had to use a rag and. So here's how we're using our uh, dead blow hammer. We got a rag here, just a shot towel. And we're gonna use it for cushion. Here's just the butt end of a ratchet. Putting it in there against the, um, very slightly, yep. And just kind of knock it out. It's coming, it's coming. The first bearing's out, our ring's out. Keep going, keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go guys another successful day out here uh taking this engine apart yeah it's a good one guys check it out all right so let's go ahead and flip the camera over so we can show you all what we did today all right so we got all the pistons and the rods out and we got all the, the what else did we get off the heads uh what else did we take off the, the, the oil pan the timing cover timing chain only thing is we got to get a proper bolt or um torx bit to get that off we had one but it broke unfortunately those things are on there pretty tight so we got to get something that's a little bit stronger to get that off and yeah. then uh, we can remove the camshaft and then also we're gonna stop here for the night um and we'll continue next time with getting the camshaft and the crankshaft off we're almost ready man we're almost ready to take it out to the, to the machine shop Get it, uh, make sure there's no cracks in it and, you know, get it dipped and cleaned out and taking the, uh, the crankshaft to get nice and polished, the cam to get polished up. Hopefully it's still good. I can't really tell from here until I get it out and hopefully these, uh, these holes out here just need a nice cleaning or bore out or something simple and we'll start, uh, the process of putting it back together and we'll, we'll go from there see what's up. Yeah, sounds good, man. Can't wait to get it to the machine shop, but everything kind of looks okay. Other than the bearings from the rods, all of those look pretty bad. They were all pretty shot. I don't know if we have some to show here. Um, I think we already showed a few, but I mean, as you can see, I don't exactly know how to describe what's going on here, but as you can see that doesn't really look normal. It looks like um, they're kind of, the bearings kind of spinning out or something, uh, but they all look like that. They all look pretty damaged, but other than that, pretty successful day taking this thing apart. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna end it off here, call it a night. And uh, we'll continue next time with, like I said, taking off the crankshaft and the camshaft. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to stay up to date with the build because, again, we're going to take you all through the whole process of, you know, tearing the rest of the engine apart and then putting it all back together and putting it in the truck and uh, hopefully getting it running again. So, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.